Good morning everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel. I hope you are all really well. It has been such a long time since we've properly caught up. Come and say hello in the comments box below, let me know how you're doing. Let's try and catch up in this vlog because I haven't put really any content out for a few weeks and I put my what I eat in a day like voiceover one um, out and to be honest it really wasn't my best um just my house is so noisy and that day I wanted to film but my house was so so noisy I just thought I'm just going to do it um in a different style and do a voiceover but you can hear now my my kids are just they're so loud um so I hope you can hear me over the noise so yeah where have I been I have just been dealing with everything I I just need to shut the window it's like one degree outside, but I, I actually, I wonder if that's a side effect. Ah, oh, I suddenly got really hot and it's like one degree outside. So I opened the window and now my feet are frozen. Actually, I'm gonna put my slippers on. So yeah, sorry, I'm just putting my Percy Pig slippers on. Um, Yeah, I've just been dealing with everything and getting ready to start radiotherapy. So. I have started that now, I'm a week in and um, I've got three and a half weeks left. It's going well actually, I am in pain, um, but I feel good in myself, so that's the most important thing. I have just been trying to get my head around sort of how I'm going to get through it in terms of um, how I'm eating, my products that I need to use, all of that kind of thing. Um, there's quite a lot of thought you need to put into it actually you know what what products you can use in the area that's being zapped <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it and yeah um my diet so if you are new here welcome thank you for clicking on my video my name's Leanne I am 40 I've got two boys they are five and seven and I I initially started creating content well, my channel has been heavily focused on what I'm eating and um, my Slimming World journey. So for the last almost a year, I've been going to a Slimming World group and I was creating a lot of content around that. Actually, it's amazing um, to look back on some of my older videos from when I first started Slimming World um, or before, even before I joined. So when I was doing like hauls and things, yeah, I can really see it when I look back, the weight loss when I look back. Um, I had lost nearly five stone and then in December 2022, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I continued going to my Slimming World group. I didn't really lose any more weight. I just kept like, I gain a couple of pounds, lose them, gain them, lose them. So I was hovering at the same kind of weight, um, which is good because had I have been diagnosed before joining Slimming World, I would have absolutely comfort eaten and gained and gained. So yeah, I was really, really pleased. I had surgery in January. I've got some videos around my cancer journey not many but um i have got a surgery vlog just a small one it was more memories for me really and i had my surgery and so how many weeks am i now i think i'm seven i think i'm about seven weeks post-surgery roughly and i've recovered well i do have some lasting um effects from that that haven't healed as well as they should have but they're still healing. So basically I've got this kind of fatty lump. Um, it's quite a big lump and it's where the incision for my lumpectomy was. And it's, yeah, it's just been quite a pain to be honest, um, but it's fine. It's, you know, it's, it's checked regularly because I'm going to the hospital so often. So at the moment I'm doing radiotherapy. I go every day of the week, except weekends and that's for 23 sessions. So it's quite tiring. I've been going to the hospital and back every day. I'm still at work. So basically I start work, leave work to go to the hospital, come back from the hospital, go back to work, finish it to go on the school run. And then, you know, my job really starts when the kids get home from school. So yeah, it's just been a bit manic. And um, I really wanted to clean up my diet even more than I had. So I, I feel like my diet was, you know, it was pretty good. I do love Slimming World. I have followed it, like I say, for nearly a year. But I do think there are elements of Slimming World 
that are questionable about how healthy they are overall. So, you know, the artificial sweeteners and um, sugar and things like that. But overall, um, I love the Slimming World Plan. It really works for me. I have been living my life. I've gone, I've had parties, I've gone away in the whole of, you know, it in the year that I've been doing it. And I've managed to not put on weight. So, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. I wanted to really clean up my diet, though, for radio, because when I started and had my first session, I realised how big of a deal it is and that my body really needs to be able to minimise the side effects as much as possible. And so I really wanted to clean up my diet. The spanner in the works, however, is that when I saw the radiograph radiographer at the beginning of radiotherapy, she told me that I need to maintain my weight. And that's because I've had some little dots put on, like tattooed dots. And I just had to um, go and see what my kids wanted. Um, yeah, I've had these little tattoo dots. I can probably show you one of them. So that's a little dot there. Um, and I've had three of those put on. So I've had um, one, that one, and then I've had one there and one there. I can't actually see those ones, to be honest. They kind of blend in with all my moles, but yeah, so basically I'm not able to lose weight because those dots need to stay in the same place. Equally, I'm not allowed to gain weight because again, the dots need to stay in the same place. I'm finding that quite a challenge, to be honest, because like I said, I've cleaned up my diet so much that eating enough to maintain is um, is a challenge. So I've kind of got a plan in place. I need to talk to them today actually because I have lost a little bit of weight and um, I need to know like what is acceptable around kind of how much I can lose and things. But yeah, so I thought anyway, I thought I would film today. The reason I haven't done any of these recently is because I think my diet's really boring. I just don't really know if you'll be interested in it because it is very, I don't know, it's it's quite boring. There's, n there's not much to, in terms of exciting puddings and snacks and things going on um but anyway I thought I would share with you because this is genuinely my what I'm eating every day um and yeah I thought I would just catch up with you really because it has been so long since I've probably spoken to the camera I am doing a radiotherapy vlog but this only going to really appeal to anyone who's actually going to go through radiotherapy I would have thought and that's kind of documenting daily my symptoms my side effects um, products I'm using, all of that kind of stuff um, to help anyone who's going through radiotherapy. But I have been doing that. I just haven't done a proper vlog. I need to try and work out what kind of content I'm going to put out on my channel because I just feel like my what I eat the days are going to be quite boring. I don't know. Let me know what you think if you do still want to see these. I mean, I am varying what I'm eating. It's just that there's not a lot of kind of exciting new snack finds and um, things like that. So, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. So I need to get the kids off to school in a few minutes and I need to get my face on. One thing I am doing is putting my makeup on every day for radiotherapy. It just gives me a lift. I feel I just it makes me feel better. So without fail, I'm putting my makeup on for radio. Um, I put some dry shampoo in my hair because... Um, I washed it. What day are we on now? Yeah, so this is like day two hair and it's not, yeah, it's not too bad really, but my hair kind of doesn't cope well. It kind of ideally needs to be washed every day, but I would never do that it's just anymore like I used to because I don't have time and it's not great for your hair, is it? So anyway, I'm rambling. It's because I haven't done this for so long. I'm really out of practice. Anyway, I'm going to get my face on. Okay, so all done. And I have thought I would show you my hospital gown. Um, my hospital have given me the gown to bring home. And then I can go to the hospital every day dressed, ready to go. So, yeah, they um, they want me to just be able to just be ready to just go straight through and not have to keep getting changed and stuff, which is actually a bit easier for me, in all honesty. So, yeah, this is my gown. It's um, nice and oversized. <laughs> But yeah, it's just loads of poppers everywhere. Actually, while I've got this on, I can show you where I've had my lymph nodes out. If you don't like to look at that kind of thing, look away now. Just, I will tell you when to look back. Look away now. Yeah, so my lymph nodes have come out of there. That's um, 
healing I think it's healed quite nicely now but this is all very swollen here since the surgery and this is sw swelling up since the radiotherapy um, but I have no sensation at all here nothing you can put something boiling hot you can look back now you can put something boiling hot on there and I won't feel it freezing cold I check I test it with my hands when my hands get really cold um I can't feel a thing it's really frustrating because actually um actually almost feels a bit sore um I can't really I can't really explain it it's not it's not actually pain but um it has this kind of I don't know it feels like dry and like it sort of rubs but it's not rubbing on anything I can't explain it but it's the weirdest feeling and I to be honest I am really struggling with I can't get this proper done up if you wonder what I'm doing I'm really struggling with the loss of sensation to be honest but I'm really hopeful that when the swelling goes down and there is a quite a hard lump as well underneath it um if that goes down I'm really hoping that it kind of releases some of the nerves and give me some sensation back but I'm not you know I'm not daft I know there's a chance that that loss of sensation could be permanent I know that I'm just hopeful thinking so yeah um I'm a bit thirsty and am I hungry I don't know if I've really got time to eat before I go to the hospital um oh I need to put my rings on I think I did show you my engagement ring since it came back. So if you don't know the story, basically my engagement ring diamond fell out. Absolutely like m complete meltdown. And then because I realised when I was having dinner, um, I looked down and my claw was empty and I found the diamond in the boot of my car. Someone was watching over us that day. And yeah, it took me two and a half years to get it to London and get it repaired. Um, and I've now had my wedding band polished up as well, uh, replated, whatever it's called, what they have to do to white gold. And yeah, so we are finally there with the rings. And do you know the best bit as well? My engagement ring was made smaller. So yeah, I had the um, the engagement ring was actually made. So my, my, wedding, my wedding band is still the same size. It's quite loose. Um, but my engagement ring, I had made a size smaller and actually think I could have even gone another size down. Yeah, so, and I've cut my thumb. Um, I bought a new knife for the kitchen and honestly, I've owned it for about a month and I've cut my 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 finger, my hands three times. I am not a great chef. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs now, figure out what I'm going to eat and drink before I go to the hospital. Right, so downstairs now. I'm sure everyone is getting really sick of seeing me drinking the vinegar, but it's nearly gone. It's literally, I don't even know if I've got 25 mils in it for today. Um, I did ask the uh, radiotherapy, I, she isn't a radiographer, I think she might be like, I'm not sure who she is, but I asked her and she kind of said, you can have whatever you like in your diet. So I'm going with that. Um, and so I carried on drinking it over the last week, but um, I, yeah, I just... I'll be honest with you, I feel better since I've been supplementing my diet. Now, there are a few things that I have added in that could be contributing to that. So I can't sit, I can't stand here and say, oh, yeah, the apple cider vinegar um, has made, you know, such a difference. I don't know, to be honest, but something, a combination of everything is making me feel so much better. Um, so I think I might be going back to the farm shop tomorrow and... I don't know whether to buy another one. I can't decide what to do. My glare on my screen. It's because the light is really weird outside. Um, so anyway, I've got that. And then in the morning, I also take my vitamin D. Now, I mentioned these in my last What I Eat In A Day. They're from Wild Nutrition. I have paid quite a bit of money for my supplements. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, because... I had just heard such great things about these. Now, I did say in my What I Eat In A Day, I was impressed with the quality of them. I, that was a miss. Someone did point it out to me. I, I totally get it that I don't know the quality of these. Um, what I meant was I feel better since taking my supplements. And I don't know for sure that it is, you know, down to one specific product, but I feel better in myself. So I thought I would just tell you about all of the supplements that I'm taking and then you know, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm taking a vitamin D. Now, I 
did a subscription for this um, because it's a bit cheaper. And also these bottles, th look at the aesthetics of these. I mean, they look so nice, don't they? Not that my kitchen um, really cares because I've got two kids, you know, cereal bowls are all out on the side. And yeah, it's just, you know, I've um, got a busy house, but I'm um, sorry, I'm you're in my cupboard, by the way, and this door just keeps flapping. Um, so I did a subscription on these. You get a nice glass jar and then monthly, you can get a refill, which is not glass, and then you just put them back in the glass jar. And I really like that um, because, you know, it's just so, the packaging's completely recyclable. So then I think the monthly subscription cost is about £10. One-off purchase, I think, is £12. Um, so, yeah, they, they get sent every month. And I just thought I would give them a go. Um, I, you can cancel them on, you know, no obligation. So, yeah, I got those. And then I also got... So my Megas, I wanted to try them. They were premium. I think, I think they're about thirty-two pounds um, for a one-off for a subscription. I think it's about twenty-six, twenty-seven. I did search online for a discount code. There's loads of discount codes available. Um, you actually do get offers when you join their website. If you just join, open an account, they will give you a um, discount code anyway. But I got a twenty percent off code just by searching online, so I got twenty percent off my order. Um, but Omega is something that I I think I have been really deficient in Omega oil um, because we, we just, it's just not something we've ever included in our diet. And more recently, I've been including a lot more like seeds and nuts and stuff that have certain um, fats in. But I, we don't eat fish or seafood very often at all. And I'm certain it was a deficient, something I was deficient in. So I wanted to give these a go again. I only got a one-off on this because I don't know, I don't think I can commit to that kind of money monthly, but I thought I'd give them a go. And then I, when I finish them um, and I don't take them for a bit, I can see if I feel any different or, you know, I can buy these every other month or something. So yeah, but um, yeah, I really, really like them. The only thing with doing that obviously is that I get multiple glass jars and, you know, I don't, I don't want excess packaging, but um, I don't think I can do this monthly at the moment. So yeah, that's my supplement. So in the morning, so I take those with my dinner time, with my dinner, sorry. Um, in the morning, I just take my vitamin D, my apple cider vinegar, which I put in really warm water. I can't tolerate it in cold water. It's got to be really warm. And I have a yogurt drink, hold fire. I have one of these Actimel dairy-free drinks, if I've got them in. Uh, this one's a strawberry flavour. I absolutely love these. These are three cents on Slimming World. They're quite big. They're bigger than Yakult, which is what I used to drink. Um, but I prefer these by a mile. And yeah, these are like immune system, gut health type drinks. Whether they are effective or not, I don't know. But I feel better for the fact that I'm including it in my diet. And I'm happy to spend three cents on this. I have eliminated sins pretty much on you know, snack bars and things like that. So, you know, I've got a lot, and alcohol, I've, I'm not drinking any alcohol. So, you know, I've eliminated a lot of sins. I, I can afford to spend three sins on a yogurt drink. So that's what I'm going to have before I go to radiotherapy. I generally don't really eat before I go to the hospital. I don't eat, generally speaking, until late morning. So yeah, I'm going to um, have these now. Oh my gosh, it's two degrees outside, so it's actually freezing, and I'm walking about in flip flops and a hospital gown. But look, there's a daffodil. There's a daffodil. It's actually out. I actually haven't planted any daffodils. Look at the state of my garden. I haven't done any gardening because of obviously my diagnosis. I've been just occupied with all of that, so my garden's a mess. But um, I didn't plant any bulbs this year. Um, but we went on a massive bowl plant, um, winter 2021. So they've all just, they're all coming back again this year, which is really good. Right, so time for some food. I really fancy some cereal today. So I'm gonna have some of this Asda High Brand. You can have 50 grams of this on Slimming World as a healthy extra B choice. Then I'm gonna top that with an Aldi protein vanilla yogurt. These are one and a half sins per pot on Slimming World. Then I'm just going to top it with loads of fruit. So I'm going to slice up a banana. I'm going to add some blueberries, pomegranate seeds, and some blackberries. So here's my bowl. It is absolutely full to the brim. I've decided not to add the pomegranate seeds. I'm going to save those for another day. Um, but I am going to add some of this Sweet Freedom Hazelnut Syrup. This is divine. 
I found this in Aldi uh, about a week ago, so your Aldi may have some still. This was £2.49, I think. It is half a sin for a teaspoon on Swimming World. So I'm just going to add half a teaspoon. I don't even know if I'll bother sinning it, but um, yeah, I'm just going to add that on the top. And I've also got a coffee using my usual, um, I'm using the Costa Americano pods from my Tassimo machine. These are sim free. And then I've used some of the Outpro coconut milk from my Healthy Extra A allowance. You can have 400 mils of this as your Healthy Extra A. I've used 90 mils in my coffee and I love a coconut latte. So this just, this combination just works so well. And yeah, so that is my breakfast this morning. Right, so it's now 10 past two. I am super hungry, but it's so late in the afternoon now. But I feel like I just, I need to eat because otherwise I'm just gonna be really grumpy and I'm gonna struggle and then I'm at risk of, you know, eating stuff I don't really want to eat. So anyway, I thought I'd make a very quick omelette. So I'll make a plain omelette. I've got some eggs here. I think I'm just gonna have two because that sounds like a lot, but normally I have three. And then I'm gonna have the, these are um, Tesco mixed baked beans. I really love these. I actually won them in the raffle at my Simmer World group last week. As part of everything else, I won like a little selection of things. These are from Tesco, they're Sim free. I haven't got the packaging anymore, so I'll put a picture on screen from the website, but they're really tasty. So I'm just gonna heat these up and make an omelette. Here we have it, no way of making this look pretty, but it is definitely gonna do the job. There's no speed on it, but I'm not gonna worry about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and enjoy this now. So I've got a next tool turned up today. I randomly decided, so basically I went to the next store with my mum the other day and we were looking at the kitchen stuff and I saw some mugs which I just fell in love with. I've already got the latte mugs, it's called Malvern. And I just fell in love with like the tea mugs, I guess you'd call them. I've got the latte mugs, I've got six of those, but I can't get them out of the box. I bought, I ordered the set of four of the tea ones. How nice are they? I love them. They're such a good size. They're quite big, but not too big. And I love the handle. I don't like cups with tiny handles. I just don't like them. Um, but these are really good like hug mugs, you know? I just don't like drinking tea out of my latte mugs and I don't like my other mugs. <laughs> the only issue I've got is how I'm gonna justify this to my husband. I might just go and wash these up, put them in the cupboard and pretend like they've always been there. Yeah, anyway, that's my mug purchase. But obviously I didn't just stop at the mugs, did I? I don't think I'm gonna keep all this stuff. Well, I say all this stuff. There's three other items, I think, or maybe two. No, three. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna keep them all, but I just thought I just need to have a look and see what these things are like. I should just say these were 20 pounds for four. They are full price. The other bits I've ordered, because basically I'm always scanning the clearance section because honestly, they are always adding things to the clearance. I don't know how it happens, but it was like this Christmas jumper. I really, really, really love this Christmas jumper. My, one of the ladies at my Slimming World group was wearing it and it's just so lovely, but it was like 30, I don't know, 33 pounds, something like that. And I'll be honest with you as well, because I don't actually own a Christmas jumper, but at Christmas as well, I was in quite, you know, I wasn't in a kind of forward planning headspace. So yeah, basically I kept an eye on the clearance section because they, they sold out of it really quickly, but it just eventually came back into stock in the size that I wanted. And it was about 15, 16 pounds. So I was absolutely made up, got that at the end of Jan. So if there is something that you really, have your eye on in the clearance then just keep checking because other sizes just keep coming back into stock anyway i randomly picked up this dress it's down to 20 pounds from 40. i don't know why i picked this up to be honest i can't explain this purchase at all and i think it's unlikely that i'll keep it 
it's a linen material. It was 45 pounds. Did I just say that? It was 45 pounds. It's a wrap dress. Um, it's a maxi as well. Oh, just nearly fell over. Um, I got it in a tool. So that means, actually, I might, do you know this? I might even, I don't know. Basically, I've not got time to try it on now before school run. So I will have to do a try on clip. But yeah, it's this kind of green and orange stripe which actually doesn't look that nice when I hold it like this, but actually I quite like the look of this. Anyway, I'll do a try on clip and you can see what it looks like because I do not have time to try it on now. Okay, so next up is a caftan dress, which I already have in like black and white, I think. And I just, I've always liked this print and randomly they had it come in stock in a size 16. These were really expensive. They were £32 full price. And they're now 16, I think. And I just thought, I, I don't know. I mean, it's quite heavy. It's linen, I think. Is this linen? I'm totally wrong. It's made with Eco Vero Viscose. It feels linen-y. Fibres derived from responsibly sourced wood pulp with a low environmental impact. So yeah, I really like the pattern on this, but it does look a little tiny bit heavy for the warmer weather. I don't know. I'm going to try it on. Again, I'll do a try and clip because I haven't got time to try it on now. But yeah, I just, I really like these. And also I need to keep my um, area out of the sun this year. Well, it's, they've said for at least a year. I need to make sure that I, forevermore that it's really covered in SPF but also I may struggle this year with vest tops and straps and things like that obviously I don't get the whole area out on show anyway but obviously this bit here is going to be very very sensitive and yeah I mustn't get it really exposed to sun too much so I in my head I thought well this will be perfect because you know it's covering up but it's also what I thought lightweight because the other one that I've got is lightweight and it's the exact same item but this feels quite heavy anyway I've waffled on enough about this I will give it a try and I will show you what it looks like that's everything now, I thought I'd ordered some sandals but I actually think I might have taken them out of my basket when I thought about Leanne do you really need to order all this stuff I clearly don't because I was just browsing, doing that really dangerous browsing, you know. But anyway, so I'll try those dresses on and see how I go. And anyway, it's nearly time for school run. Now, my oldest son has got his friend coming over to play after school. And then also my mum's coming around after school. So it's going to be a busy house. And the point of me saying this is because I really won't be able to film when they're here. So how I'm gonna film dinner, I don't know. Also, I should have said as well, I'm really winging it with food today because I haven't been shopping and I don't have much in. I don't have a plan for dinner tonight because Harry and his friend are gonna have chips, something convenient from the freezer. Alfie will have something similar, but I've got some broccoli to add onto his. And yeah, James and I are just gonna have to wing it. So I will be putting something random together for dinner. What that will be, I don't know. Hopefully I can find some kind of salad in the fridge with something frozen, maybe some corn, I don't know. Anyway, I will work that all out and share it with you later on. So we're just in from school run. I'm gonna test run my new mug and I'm gonna make a Yorkshire tea toast and jam. I have not had one of these tea bags for such a long time. I'm just gonna add a dash of uh, semi-skim milk to that out of my second healthy extra A because I just don't think that the plant-based coconut milk will quite do the same job. So yeah, I'm just gonna make one of these and have that as my post school run warm up because it's absolutely freezing outside. Right, so dinner is done. I have made a salad using everything I've got in the fridge. So I've got a red pepper, some tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, and some crinkle cut pickles with hot red chili. I absolutely love these. These are from Tesco's. They're all free. I've got some vegetables, what my uh, family are having. I just used the leftovers. So I've got some green beans, peas, and broccoli, and a couple of carrots. 
And then I measured out some avocado. So I've got 68 grams of avocado there, which is probably around seven sins. I am estimating that. Then I've used some corn pieces that I've just fried off in a frying pan. And these are free. And then I've seasoned the corn pieces with some garlic granules, some turmeric. Really good for you, this is. Um, but you should have it with a little tiny pinch of ground black pepper just because you absorb a lot more of the, I want to say curcumin, uh, but I could be wrong. Do some research on that if you um, want to know for sure. But yeah, you need that to absorb, I think it's something like, I could be totally wrong here, something like 2,000 times more from black pepper. Anyway, um, then some crushed chilies and some soy sauce, and I've doused my salad in a little bit of this organic balsamic vinegar. And yeah, so that is my dinner tonight. So here we are back where the day began. It's just gone nine o'clock. I have just finished putting my children to bed. It's been a really hectic evening. My son had his friend over after school. Then I was playing Mario Kart with my five-year-old. Then we've had bedtime. Yeah, just been a tiring one. I'm exhausted. I'm, I've hit a wall. I'm shattered. I think that I have been coping really well with the radiotherapy treatment, but I do think that a lot of it, if not all of it, is down to my diet and I want to say lifestyle. It's not really my life. Well, I guess it is. I think that I'm eating really healthily. I'm drinking a lot of water and I am doing a lot of self-care. So it is quite a dedication, to be honest, because, you know, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not doing much else with my evening time. You know, I'm not kind of seeing people except for my semi world group, because I wouldn't miss that. So on a Thursday evening, I am out. But yeah, like now, I've just finished doing bedtime. I'm going to grab a cup of tea of some description, and then I'm going to go and chill out in bed, watch some telly. Apologies to the state of my bed. The kids have been jumping all over it this evening so yeah I think I'm just dedicated fully 100% dedicated on my own health to get through this treatment and I've been researching a lot as well because if you've kept up to date with my cancer vlogs you may know that I've been prescribed tamoxifen and yeah, I'm spending a lot of time kind of researching this. I just cannot make a decision on whether to take it. I'll be honest, I really don't want to take it. And yeah, I've got the prescription, but I'm definitely not doing anything until I've finished radiotherapy. I just, I just don't know whether to start taking it. It's really playing on my mind. So yeah, I'm just taking a day as it comes and focusing on getting my eating right I just need to get a bit more exercise in I am close enough to the hospital to walk so if the weather stops raining it's been raining every day at my appointment time so if it actually stops raining I'm going to walk as many times as I can next week because I think it will do me some good and so that's my plan for next week I did have a really good chat with a radiographer today about my weight and because of having been told that I need to maintain it and it was becoming a bit of a thing at the forefront of my mind and she was of a different opinion she just said don't worry about it if I was to lose too much that it was affecting what they were doing they would know because they she said they image me every day I didn't know that and so they would just put me back into the CT scanner to realign everything. I don't want to get into that position really because, you know, that's an unnecessary scan. You know, it all costs money and time and I don't want that to happen. But knowing that, in honesty, a small amount of weight loss isn't going to do much damage felt reassuring to me because, you know, like today... I've bulked my sins up with avocado and I'm doing that quite a lot actually. I would say don't be afraid. If you if you enjoy eating avocado, don't be afraid to sin it and have it because it's so satiating and especially if I have it at lunchtime, I feel so satisfied. It knocks all my cravings on the head and 
it's really, really worth the sins in my opinion. So yeah, I've been bulking my sins up with that. But today I think I've followed plan as, you know, I'm losing weight because I've not added in another healthy extra B um, or gone up to 15 sins. I think I'm just bordering 15 sins. I think I've had about, I think I've had about 12 sins, something like that today. But yeah, I'm not doing anything that's not the weight loss plan. So I think what I'm waffling, I'm tired. I think what I'm saying is the way I'm I'm doing it really is for, is, a, is the weight loss plan. But I, that's what I'm used to. And, you know, I'll try and, and go for the higher end of sins. Yeah, I'm, do you know, I'm waffling on so much. I'm going to go make a tea. I don't know what type of tea I'm going to make yet. I'll pop a photo of, of the tea I choose in now and I'm not going to eat anything else. So that will be calling it a day from me. So I hope you've enjoyed catching up and seeing a different vlog. I haven't done this for such a long time. Please let me know if you do still want to see what I'm eating in a day. I won't be offended if you'd rather not. I know, Like I say, I know that it isn't as exciting as maybe it used to be, but yeah just let me know what you're thinking and let me know how you are I would absolutely love hearing from you it's been such a long time since I've caught up with so many of you so yeah come and say hello in the comments and hopefully I'll see you in the next one bye guys